With interest in AI growing every day, tools like ChatGPT are being integrated into all sorts of popular apps that you might already use. Right now, Airtable is rolling out a brand new field type called AI Assist that will let you generate AI prompts that automatically include data from your base. Today, I'm gonna to show you how this new AI Assist field works and how you can sign up and try it out for yourself. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use AI tools and no-code software like Airtable to help people create time for mindful work. If you'd like to see more automation and AI tips every single week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on those notifications too. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can sign up for the AI Assist beta. Then, I'll show you two different ways you can use the AI Assist field. We'll start by creating a couple of prompts using Airtable's templates. Then we'll make one from scratch so you can see all the options you have with this field. Let's get started. AI Assist is a brand new field type and it's still in beta, but it's not available to everyone yet. To join the beta, you can come to this URL, which is in the description and the resources board down below, and click on join the beta. Once you land on the form, you'll see a message up top telling you that this is a wait list and paid plans are going to be prioritized. But depending on your particular situation, you may be selected to join the beta even if you're on a free plan. If you're not signed in, it'll ask you to sign in. So you have to have an Airtable account if you're going to request to join the beta. Again, sign up links are in the resources board down below. You'll answer a couple questions. What do you want to use Airtable AI for? How about creating tutorials? Then choose your role in the organization and submit the form. If you're accepted, Airtable will send you an email and let you know. Eventually, this will roll out to a wider user base. But while you're waiting, we'll give you a preview of how it all works. First, let's create a prompt using a template. So we're going to need to add our new AI Assist field to the table. We're gonna start with a template and we get this nice menu that comes up featuring general templates, product, marketing, UX research, and recruiting templates. We're expecting this list to grow a lot before the beta is released to everybody. For now, when you click on one of these, it just jumps to that section on the right-hand side. Since this base is all about our blogs, let's take a look at what they have for marketing. Exactly what we wanted, a tweet. Let's generate a tweet using AI. When I click on generate tweet, I'm taken to this menu, which could be a little different depending on which template you use. It'll ask, what information are we going to summarize into a tweet? In this case, let's use the blog body. It generates a preview on the right side. Boost your productivity with AI automation. Learn how to automate your open AI prompts using Make and streamline your workflow. Save time and get more done. AI automation productivity. And then we have a couple other options here on the left. We can include additional fields if we want, like maybe the title. And then we have this option here to generate a new preview. Let's do that. Let's see if this changed anything. Surprisingly, this made our tweet worse. Now, what we found in doing this tutorial and testing a bunch for ourselves is that sometimes with really long prompts, it struggles to find the right words to pay attention to. And in this case, our blog body is about 16,000 characters. So if we switch this to the blog body excerpt, which is limited to exclusively 2,000 characters, and add in the title and subtitle, well, let's see if this improves the results. And it does. Boost your productivity with automated OpenAI prompts in Make. Learn how to streamline your work and save time with AI tools like ChatGPT. Productivity, AI automation. Awesome, this is pretty good. Even though there's no limit explicitly disclosed to say a number of characters is too much, sometimes you will get a notification that says your prompt is too long. So truncating a post to being some subset of the characters, in this case 2,000 out of 16,000, is still enough information for the AI to give you a pretty good tweet. Hopefully Airtable will be adding some new context limits or explicit limitations around the number of characters that we should be feeding into these prompts. Let's check out this add your own example section. Here we can copy and paste an ideal tweet. 
let's add this one. Getting frustrated with Asana in Monday? Build your own task management system in Airtable. In this X-Ray tutorial, we'll show you how to start tracking tasks and projects with an Airtable base. Just copy our base to get started. And here's our YouTube video. So let's see how our tweet changes when we add an example tweet like this. Great. Let's give it some other instructions too. We can pick a style, friendly, informative, funny. I like funny. And we can add some custom instructions like some background about x-ray. In this custom instructions area, you're able to add any information or context or instructions that you'd like that you couldn't pull from a different field in your table. This is really supposed to be a catch-all custom area where if you wanna be really specific about what this prompt is going to do, you can add all of that information right here. Let's generate a preview and see what it does. Don't miss out on huge time savings. Automate your open AI prompts in Make and let AI do the work for you. Learn how in our latest blog post, AI Automation Productivity. This tweet looks good. Let's click on Use Template to see what other configuration settings we have to set. We've done everything under Prompt and have our tweet preview right here for this particular record. But there's one area that we haven't touched yet the settings. So let's go there now and see what options we have. First, you see the model. These models are ChatGPT OpenAI models, but we're limited a little bit with the meta information. We know it's GPT 3.5, we know it's GPT 4, but we don't know which specific version of these models are being selected and used by Airtable on the back end, but that's okay. Let's use GPT 4, then we have randomness. And randomness refers to the same thing that OpenAI would call temperature or other automation platforms call creativity. This is just a number between zero and one that allows you to affect the randomness, the creativity or the temperature of this model in its response. So let's try out a couple examples. Let's set this to one and generate a preview. We're expecting this tweet to be a little bit more edgy and creative. Track emails or just tired of typing prompts into ChatGPT? Make a move to make. The future of OpenAI automation. It's like having AI on a leash. Let's get ready to automate. Trust us. It's no rocket, or should we say robot, science. <laughs> X-ray helps you save the day. All right, that might be a little extreme. Let's bump this down to 0.5 and generate a preview and see what happens. Now we're expecting something a little bit more middle of the road, not quite as enthusiastic, we'll say. Tired of typing prompts into ChatGPT? Let's automate it. With Make, we'll show you how to turn your AI assistant into a productivity powerhouse. Say goodbye to manual entries and hello to more time. Open AI, make automation, and then a bit.ly link. I'm not sure if I'd trust this bit.ly link though. This bit.ly link is actually a really good example. If this number is higher than 0.2 or 0.3, you're really getting into the range where the AI is going to make things up or hallucinate. So because we really want to stick to the facts, we're gonna set the randomness to zero. And we're gonna try this preview again. No more bit.ly link, but it does provide a space for a link, which is interesting. And a tweet generally the same as before. We could edit this prompt though. Let's make this a little bit more specific. With more instructions, we can say something like, don't make anything up. Only repeat points from the content you've been given. We'll go back to our settings, set our randomness to zero and generate a preview. Great. Notice that when we went back to the prompt and came back to our model, it switched back to GPT 3.5. So let's upgrade it to four, generate this preview one more time and create the field. Awesome. Minus the robot uprising. 
Note that with GPT 3.5, you can turn on this automatically generate setting. This will automatically regenerate the AI response whenever any data in this record is modified. But if we do upgrade to GPT-4, we do not have the ability to automatically generate this. We're just gonna save these changes and keep this generate button. So we can click generate whenever we want our AI to generate a response. Let's check out another AI Assist template. We'll create a new AI Assist field, start with template, and let's quickly use the translation template. Note that in the template, we do have additional options that we get to configure in this particular template, but it's much fewer options than generating a tweet. All of these templates will have their own sub settings inside of the template to help you make the most out of the AI. The text to be translated is going to be the blog excerpt. And we're going to translate this language to this translate to field. It's generating a preview now. And I would expect this to take a few minutes since it is a 2000 character piece of text that is trying to translate. And here we go, the blog post in German. Let's use this template. We can have the settings to GPT 3.5, randomness zero, and we will automatically generate this translation. Let's create the field. And now it's generating the blog excerpt in German. And we'll wait for this to process and see what it looks like. Great, that was fast. And here it is, but let's try a different language. How about Spanish? And French? Great, so these template fields look good, but let's make a field from scratch. So we'll go back to the AI Assist field and we can start from scratch. You can write whatever you want. This is something that you could write just like you would write inside of ChatGPT. The only difference is you have a big plus button here where you can add any information from your table. Something that would be really helpful when writing a blog is to draft a meta description. This is useful for SEO and a whole bunch of other things. So I have a prompt here that we're gonna insert. Now I'm gonna add the title and the subtitle and the blog excerpt. Now this should create a meta description of under 160 characters, but since LLMs don't know math, it's an approximation. It usually won't end up being under 160 characters, but it'll try. And just like before, we also have settings. We're gonna use GPT-4 and we don't need to automatically generate this. Let's save and generate. Pretty good. Now, just because we're curious, let's actually add a formula field here to check its length. Hundred and seventy six. As I said, it'll try. Ultimately, you can never rely on AI responses to be one hundred percent accurate it's always a good idea to check the AI's output before publishing the responses or sending it to someone else. One convenient way to check Airtable AI answers is with actionable Slack messages, which you can configure in Airtable automations. With an actionable message, you can allow automations to continue or stop them from running with a single click. You can learn more about actionable messages in a recent tutorial we did 
linked on your screen and in the resources board down below. But even with its imperfections, the AI Assist field is a very powerful tool for generating a starting point for tweets, translations, product launch briefs, and a whole lot more. AI is making it easier than ever to draft, brainstorm, and refine content. While standalone software like ChatGPT is already extremely useful for a wide range of use cases, integrated tools like Airtable's AI Assist create seamless options for using AI in the apps where we're already getting work done. Sign up for the free beta today and try it out for yourself. Trust me, it's worth it. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human. Like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. You can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the resources board down below. And as always, find your focus and stay in flow. Trying to future-proof yourself? Start designing the way your team works with no-code tools, automation, and AI. In X-Ray's Workflow Designer course, we'll show you how to break down every part of a process to find the best opportunities for automation, and how to integrate those automations into your team's daily work. You'll learn how to create time for your entire team, get more reliable results, and give everyone a newfound clarity and confidence in their work. Just go to this URL to learn more. The entire package includes over two hours of premium video content, challenging example projects, and tons of helpful resources. The course costs just $250 and gives you lifetime access to a Slack community of workflow designers building systems in dozens of different industries. Space is limited, so join the free waiting list today to get notified as soon as the course is live later this year. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon in our workflow designer course.